What's up everybody? Today I'm going to walk you through the new Hey email platform. I've been on here for about a week. I want to show you, uh, I want to review like all the fancy features that are in here and there are a ton and just give you my overall thoughts on the product, show you things in actions, that sort of stuff. So first off, what is Hey? Hey is an email program just like Gmail. And in fact, it doesn't actually replace Gmail. If you want, you can get your emails forwarded. I'm going to show you how to do that a little bit later in this video but it's different, okay? This is from the team at Basecamp and they really want to make email a different experience in a few different ways. They want it to be easier and faster, easier to find what you're looking for so you don't have to go digging through old emails for attachments uh, or notes you saved. You can combine threads. You can also screen out like senders extremely easy. I mean, that's like one of the first things I'm gonna show you here in a second. They want your privacy to come first and they want Email to be a like just solid, cohesive workflow experience, not some jumbled mess of like clicking through and labels and hacking together workflows through like, you know, <laughs> different inboxes and promotions. No, 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 no. Simple, easy to check, easy to send and receive, easy to screen out people, and then fast, productive. That's what Hay is trying to do here. So let's dive in. Uh, I should probably start with the screener, but I think it's actually more appropriate to start with the folders, the groups, the workflows, whatever, the triage in Hey. So you see the M box, not the N box, the M box, that stands for important <laughs> mail, stuff you actually want to see and receive when you have it in your email. The feed, which is mostly for like marketing sorts of emails, and then the, and it's going slow, the paper trail right here. Now, these are like the three big folders that Hey has on uh, default where you can automatically have your email sent to. You don't want to see all the marketing emails, right? When you log into your inbox, you should send those to the feed or automatic email receipts whenever you buy something or just like recurring charges, they always get sent to you. You can put stuff like that in the paper trail automatically. I'm going to show you how to filter that stuff in just a second, but just know those are the groups for now. It's also worth noting, we're going to talk about these separately as well. Uh, I don't remember what they call them, stacks maybe? Additional folders is kind of how I like to think of them. Reply later, set aside. And of course, you can also attach labels to different emails. You can do that per email. You can set up different senders to automatically have different labels attached to them. I'll show you how I use that in a second. But this is pretty much like where the emails go. Your inbox, the feed, and the paper trail. And then you can mark them with labels if you want. Or reply later and set aside. That's important to know up front. All right, let's go back to the inbox. And you can see every time you get an email from an unknown sender, meaning this is the first time that they have emailed you. And when you first sign up for Hey, by the way, you'll have to do this for everybody who sends you emails, which is actually really great. Uh, you get the opportunity right here to just say, nope, I am not going to be receiving emails from this person ever. Like, I don't want to hear from you. Done. Stop. Like, there's no unsubscribe. You can unsubscribe in a, by the way, to any email sender, but even easier to say like, nope, I don't want to get emails from you. You will never receive an email from them again. Uh, I'm going to click yes to all these. These are just, I asked for some people to send me some tests. So I'm going to click yes to that one. This is a uh, marketing email that I signed up for. So I'm going to click yes here. Uh, and, I, and I'm going to show you, you can also uh, filter things. Like I only want, I don't want this to come to my inbox. I want this to come to my feed. You can select that here or paper trail. I'm actually going to do that in a second. I'm going to show you some different ways to do that. I'll click yes. I'll send uh, or receive emails from Ross and there they are in my inbox. So let's talk about the feed. I, I mentioned this was a marketing email. There's a few ways I can do this. Number one, if you just click on the uh, what, the avatar, I guess you could say. You can actually select multiple emails and there's a bunch of actions. We'll get to some of these fancier ones in just a second. Or you can actually just open the email and if you're reading it, like, oh, yep, here's Neville. I want this to go to my marketing emails. I don't want to see this in my inbox. I want to be able to like browse these at will. You can do this a few ways. Obviously, there's a menu down here, more, with different shortcuts. You can see the like little letters popping up right here. That's the shortcuts. Or you could click them to see their profile, the sender's profile. They can't see this. This doesn't change anything on their end. This is only in my Hey account. Now, there's a few things here that I want to dig into. Right up front, delivering to inbox. Nope, I want that to go to the feed. I don't want to actually see this in my inbox. 
by the way, this auto file, you can get them to auto file uh, different tags. I like to use, I just use blogs to like, th this might be in my swipe file copy later. I definitely go back like once a month and I look at all the bloggers I follow in my niche, in my industry, and I check in on what they're doing. I read their emails uh, together. So I auto file this to a tag really, or to a label, whatever you want to call it, blogs. So let's go back to my inbox really quick and we're going to find that email. As you can see, it is no longer here. It's not in my inbox anymore. And in fact, when Neville emails me again, it's not going to come here. It's going to go to my feed, which you can find up here. You can also do the keyboard shortcuts, of course. And this feed is, it's kind of exactly that. If you're used to like a social media feed, as you can see, you can just browse the emails and read. There's no need to actually click on here. You can also, you can click to see more, by the way. Like here's that email from Neville. You click this to see more, but in general, you can just browse. Like you can do this like once a week, once a month or something like that. You can see there's just like a bunch of emails that, like I don't need this in my inbox cluttering up space. Here's another blogger I follow. I have his automatically put to the feed and automatically labeled with blogs. So pretty cool, right? And by the way, you can always change this going forward. Like if I had just clicked on Neville again, that took me to his uh, profile, his Cinder profile, I guess. I can move this around. I could screen out. I could like, I just completely unsub from Neville. He can never email me again. Auto file. You can change all this good stuff here. Blogs. And the paper trail is actually roughly the same thing. You click on that and you can see uh, this is like, you know, your transfer is complete. Ally Bank and American Express and Airtable and Wells Fargo. Like, I don't need to see these in my inbox every day. I can just come here and look at the paper trail. All right, so let's talk about uh, the two like little stacks of emails you see down here, as well as the general format of the inbox. As you can see, there's no like all mail like there is in Gmail or, you know, archive or something like that. They don't have any of that. It's very simple. It's unread, read. That's it, period. New for you, these are your unread emails. There's no, you know how unread emails can actually get pushed down? Like if I go to uh, my business email, which is absolutely a dumpster fire. Apologies in advance. I haven't moved them over to Hey, by the way. I'm thinking about doing that. This is only my personal email at the moment. You can see like there's unread emails down here, but there's also like literally unread emails on like the bottom of page one here. And I, I mean, I do my best, but let's be honest. Like there's a bunch of red unreads. There's a bunch of unreads up, like down here. They don't do that in Hey. It's red, unread. Here are my unread emails, period. It's always pushed towards the top. Here's everything else, everything else. Now there's a cool new feature or not cool new feature. Everything's new, I guess. <laughs> but there is reply later. You can actually click this button. It'll uh, expand these. Oh, I only have one, I guess. So that didn't count. If I had multiple emails, like let's say, let's go with Ross's here. And I hit reply later, which is keyboard shortcut L apparently. It just like, boom, removed it from my inbox. I've seen it, but it didn't, you know, remove it forever. It just kept it right down here. You can see I clicked on this and it expanded my reply later emails. So it's like a little stack. You can think of it as like a folder, but these emails don't go away until you remove them from the stack or you reply to them, right? Uh, and the same thing for this one. This one is actually set aside. This is stuff that's like, you know what? I don't need to reply to this, but I want to come back and look at it later. Like I need to reference this later. So I just set it aside in that stack. Like let's do uh, this one. It's like, oh, I'm just going to set this one aside. I hit A. And I added it down here to the stack. I can come back later. Like, oh, okay, I got this. Right, I don't need to set this aside anymore. I can undo that and now it's gone. Or it's, you know, in the previously seen folder. All right, let me show you this feature. It's called like read together or, you know, reply. What is it called? Get to, go to focus and reply. This is so cool. So I love this thought of like, I need to deal with these four emails now that just came in. I'm gonna hit this read together button right here. And it's gonna pretty much like put them in a little feed, just like the marketing feed, where I can just quickly grow, go through here. There's nothing else distracting me. There's no other emails. It's just these four new ones. Now I get to decide what to do with them. So this one is like, okay, whatever. I'm done with that. I read that email. I don't need to do anything for it. This one is like, oh, you know what? I might actually need to, let's set this one aside. Uh, Spotify. Oh, you know what? I don't want Spotify to come to my inbox anymore. I need to like move this to paper trail. All right, done. Uh, this one. Oh gosh. You know what? I'm going to have to reply to this one later. That's Miranda. She's emailed me. Reply later. Boom. And this one, uh, I'm not doing anything with, I could just mark all as seen. Like once I kind of dealt with the emails set aside, reply later or you know, whatever, I just hit mark all as seen. I don't bother even deleting them. 
Now my inbox is completely clear. I don't need to delete anything. Everything just like falls off. Now, something else cool, the reply later sort of thing. I love, love, love this. You can find an individual email and like, oh, I need to reply to this one. I'll open up this one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could choose that little feature down here, go to focus and reply. I believe you can also find it up here. No, maybe not. So you'll click this and it'll open up all the emails that you need to reply to in one screen. And then like there's a little box, reply here, reply here, reply here. Uh, and I'll say like, awesome, Miranda, Miranda, just now getting to this. And then I'll hit send email, boom. And this next one, hey, thanks Ross, I appreciate you. And then boom, send. And this one, it's like, I don't actually need to send anything, so I could probably just like delete this, but I'll be like, oh, uh, sweet. I'm not gonna do that, just because I wanna keep that one in there. But in general, uh, really, really high productivity, focused email responses. Just go through here, and honestly, I love the read together thing, so you can just quickly triage all the different emails you get, and then come back later, like once a day maybe, once a week, I don't know how many emails you get, and then just like reply to them in bulk really, really quickly. I love that feature. All right, let me show you some of the fancier features for one thing, you see like these two hey threads. I ask people to like email me something. Let's say these were like related. This happens all the time. You'll get an email uh, and this, and it'll be like a nice little thread. And then that same person will email you again and it'll start like a new thread. And then maybe the third time, now you have three email threads, but they're all pretty much like the same topic. It's, the, it's actually the same thread, but they just emailed you separately. And then you've been replying here and replying in this thread and it can be a mess. They have a really cool thing in Hey where you can just merge it like this and click this one. I can click this one and hit merge, merge. Where are you? Merge. And then you can actually rename it by the way. So this is uh, that intro thread from Twitter. Apologize for my crappy keyboard right here and hit merge permanently. Oh, now you can do that. And now if I go back to like my inbox here, you'll see that this thread is now merged. It's not merged on their end. Those senders can like send and you know reply to emails. They can do whatever they want. This is only in your email inbox. Now everything is right here. Like you can see the time stamps that are in here. You can hit reply to either one of these uh, individually or whatnot. I think that's really cool, like merging threads. Another really cool thing you can do is actually re name subject lines. You can change the subject lines of emails from people. It's actually insane. So I'm gonna go back to this Spectrum email. This is not important to me, but let's pretend it was. So I can come up here and just rename it. I can just type in here, right here. Let's say this was like, oh, uh, that special offer from Spectrum. And I hit save and then boom. Now it has saved it on my end. Didn't change anything on their end. Again, it just allows me to Oh, you know what, uh, where's that special offer? That special offer, special offer, special offer, right? That special offer from Spectrum. Uh, just in case like somebody sent you a receipt, somebody sent you a food recipe, that's like the example that hey.com uses, something that you want to save and search for later, you can just rename that subject line really quick and search for it. And actually going back to that same email, there we go, you see these little binoculars, did you see that right there? You see these like little purple icons right here? That means that whoever sent this email is tracking my data. They are tracking whether I open it or not. They are tracking the links I click. They are tracking me, right? Uh, this comes from MailChimp. This comes from all sorts of email service providers. Let's open that. And you can see this notification at the top as well. You are protected. We have blocked a spy tracker in this thread. And you can actually click on this to read more. Spectrum used an app called Litmus to send this email and they can track whatever, whatever, whatever. We consider that an invasion of privacy, blah, blah, blah. We block that. I love this. <laughs> it's so cool. No one's tracking your data ever, ever again. You can still read the emails in full. You can see all the images. You can read all the text. Like there is absolutely no change on your end. It just blocks that data from being sent back to them. By the way, how they do this, I read, is that they actually download the email to their server first and display that to you or something. I don't know. It's complicated. I don't really care. I just like that. They don't get to track my stuff anymore. And you can see the notification of when that happening. 
Another cool thing about Hey is the attachments files that people send you, you can actually just, it's almost like Google Drive. I hate to use that example because they compete with Google, but it's cool. You could just open up your files and it shows you all files sent by everybody, starting with the most recent. And you can also filter through. You could see, I mean, I've only been in Hey for like a week, so I don't have a bunch, but here's some like PDF invoices or whatnot. You can choose like, oh, you know what? Just spreadsheets that people sent me or just PDFs or just the images that people sent me. I'll choose PDFs right here. And then you can choose sent by everyone, uh, sent by, uh, who sent me these? Audio Hero, I guess. Audio, only sent by Source Audio. There you go. And now you can just click these. You can uh, download them. The clicking on it just downloads it by default. Click on that, download that, and you're good to go. I think that's really cool that they have like this nice laid out searchable function for files. Oh, and if you actually look at the sender profile, let's go to LastPass, it looks like they sent me something. I'll click on, there's my contact here. You'll actually see recent files from lastpass.com right here. And then all the, the messages that they sent you. So you can just like search for somebody and it'll show you all the files they've sent you right up here up top in their sender profile. While we're here, it's worth seeing this right here, not notifying. Uh, this is, I, I personally appreciate this. You should be able to choose who you receive notifications from, whether that's a brand new sender or your best friend who's emailing you again. And by default, all notifications are off for everybody on that sends you an email, period. Zero notifications, zero. You get to choose who you want to receive notifications from. So I don't want to actually receive notifications from LastPass. Uh, but let's say like, oh, Ally Bank, like that's important to me. I actually, that's like timely. I actually do want to receive notifications from them. I would go to the sender profile again and click like notify me. And they have a great iPhone, iPad app, as well as like this desktop version or the browser version and as well as a desktop version that could send you push notifications and stuff like that. And let's say that you actually just wanted to be tuned in. You want to get notifications for a certain thread. Like, oh, this thread, I need to know when there are updates on this project or whatever. You would open up a thread, any thread, and come down here. Oops. Well, you could do it also right there, but I want to show you the other way to do it. Uh, anyways, uh, you come down here in the thread, click on more, and then go to send me push notifications. So you'll get all notifications on this thread. Pretty cool. Speaking of threads, you'll see this right here, ignore this thread. Oftentimes, uh, you know, <laughs> the threads can get sort of out of hand, especially if there's like three, four, five, six people copied on any sorts of email and the threads are like all over the place. You can actually just dive in and just ignore that thread. Like, you know what? Okay, I'm kind of done with this one now. I need to be uh, <laughs> apart from it. You do this, ignore this thread. The last couple of features here might actually blow your mind. I love these so much. Let me search for that email from Miranda. There we go. Here's her sender profile. Here's that email she sent, category narrow, uh, narrow down. Let's say I, I don't really like need to save this entire email, but it's like, you know what? It would actually be handy to like, get this link right here or save this schedule. So you know what I'll do? I'll actually just come in here and highlight it. And when you see uh, I did that, you see save clip, save clip. I've read the email. I don't need to reply later. I don't need to set aside the entire email. Obviously it's, it's dropped down from my inbox. Like, oh, but wait, what was that link? What was that schedule? You can come up here to your account, go to clips. Now here is that clip right there. And you can actually click on this. It'll open up the email. It's pretty cool. Like you can just save links. I need to save this sentence. I need to save this sentence or whatever. And then just save it at, just highlight it in an email and go to save clip and you can access it like right there. It's pretty handy, I feel like. And you just click this to open up the email. Another really cool thing, kind of similar to clips, uh, a little bit different, is actually adding an additional note to yourself. Note to self, that's actually what it's called. Got my email open here, go to more, add a note to self and be like, oh wait, remember to copy Chelsea and then I will post this note. Now, whenever I go into that email thread, which is somewhere down here, oh, there it is. You can actually see it right, right here in your previously seen as well. But if you open up the email, you'll see it down here, kind of like in a thread. It looks a little bit different because it wasn't actually sent to Miranda. This is just a note to myself. So in this email thread, I will see this. You can also see it's highlighted just a little bit. Remember to copy Chelsea. And one more, in my opinion, the coolest of these little like note-taking features is the sticky. 
So I'll go up here to that thread intro from Twitter. Remember, I renamed that subject line. So cool. I'm going to click this and hit Y, or you know, I can click sticky right here. Uh, remember to thank these guys on Twitter. Again, my keyboard is kind of messed up. Sorry. Save sticky. Isn't that cool? So even if this uh, it gets moved around, this email thread right here, it gets moved around into different folders, or it's previously seen, or it's in the inbox, you can move it back to the inbox as unread. Uh, now you just get this nice little sticky note right here. You can actually click to edit as well. That's cool. It's just like a little sticky note in your inbox. So that's actually most of the cool features. I am going to walk through just really quick. Oh, by the way, they have a screener history where you can see everybody you've screened in and screened out like a, in a timeline sort of fashion. So you can literally just like move people in, move people out. It's actually kind of neat. Anyways, you can actually set up your existing Gmail accounts to come here, right? And also go out. Like you could send at, send your hey email over to Gmail. You could do that if you wanted to as well. Don't know why you would, but you could. Uh, you would click this button right here and enter in. You can see I have my personal email address forwarding here. You can add in some more if you want to. I'm not gonna go through like step-by-step. Step. It's actually pretty simple though. You'll follow these instructions. There you go. They got it from Outlook, they got it from Gmail, Yahoo, iCloud, that sort of stuff. The instructions are fairly easy to follow. I didn't have that big of an issue with it. You'll turn on this or whatnot. It's a little weird. You'll actually have to do some settings in both your Gmail and in Hey. Like you'll have to come in here to settings, go over to account forwarding or whatever it is, forwarding and this or that. You'll have to add a forwarding address and do a few settings. You should be able to like follow this relatively straightforward right here. They'll send you like some verification emails and, and all that nice stuff. And then you should be set up and good to go. So that's actually gonna do it. If you enjoyed this video, if you're into online business or entrepreneurship or blogging, podcasting, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here. You know, I would appreciate you. And feel free to drop me a comment below. Are you gonna check out, hey, is it worth that price tag? Like a hundred bucks a year, yes or no? How many emails do you receive? Thank you guys for watching. Like, hashtag, subscribe, or whatever if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.